Uh, right, so just made our way out that building, and this is where the car graveyard is. It's absolutely crazy how this came apart. Look, there's parts of cars here. Um, I believe it to be some kind of car hoarder who had it for years and years and years, and he passed away, and it's just been left. I don't think anyone's claimed it. Anyone's said, you know, what this is ours. So um, it's pretty much open for anyone to just come in, but it is barricaded. You can't actually take anything out unless uh, you strip the parts off. I thought I heard someone then. So yeah, last time I came, I came here last year and this Jag was it was in great condition. Looks like we've had vandals in, been destroying it. This was the, uh, I think this was the 3.2 model Jaguar. Inside there, uh, as you can see, the interior was pretty good. Looks like they've been stripping parts off the engine as well. Uh, we've got another Jag there. Got another Jag there. Uh, an older Jag back there as well. Another one here. This is why it's called the Jaguar Graveyard. Another one there, it looks like a sport. Look at that, we've got a lorry there. It's just started to, it's like embedded into the bush. It's a part of the bush. As you can see, there's a big van there stopping anything from getting out because if you could, you could make a fortune off this place, taking all the cars to the scrap, scrap yard. But, oh, see that gem back there? This is what I saw last time. On here, there must have been quite a few minis kept because that's a complete shell of an original Mini Cooper and there was one in a unit which is further down here and that was absolutely pristine mint but it had been stripped down you could tell someone had come in they would taken the engine and stripped it down the engine pretty much new, it's only done 10,500 miles 10,000 miles on this car and it's just been sat here to rot there's probably guys with Jaguars screaming for like, you know, a, a quarter panel or a boot lid and it's just all sat here and it's just rotting and being destroyed. This one's done 7,400 miles. 7,000 miles? And what, what's, what is this, an, an, an 86 or an 87? Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to go. I see them spider webs in there. Look at them, the thorns are just growing through. Fish could live in there, it's like a convent or whatever. Well, looks like uh, this has been destroyed. Last time I was here, this was complete and you know what they've done, don't you? Aluminium. They've uh, they've stripped this trailer down. This was a full trailer. It's a full caravan last time I was here, and they've stripped it down. It's like they burnt it and stripped it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they've had some bonfires up here. That up there. Last time we was here, we actually opened the boot on that just to see if it had a spare tire in it, and it, yeah, it did. It prob probably still does because we didn't take it, but it was that decaying. When we went to open the boot, the boot was locked, but it was that rusty it just came apart it's just crazy how long they've been sat here for <laughs> looks like someone's tried hard getting into these units oh, there's, there's a back axle from something we had we had differential on it we got some we got a chassis there from something else like some old very old and somewhere else at the back there, some kind of axle. Maybe some of this stuff's worth thousands of pounds. Maybe that's an axle from some kind of rare, you know, Model T or Model A. It's just something really old, like a a Triumph or... It could be worth a fortune, but it's just been left to rot. Right. More people. Hi.
This is where Charles nearly broke his ankle there. Uh. Oh, that's that British Open one. It's the uh, convertible roof. Oh, quite expensive. Quite, that'd have been worth a fortune. An absolute fortune, yeah, that car. Even just for the shell as well, the lawn. Um, talking good, good money there. There's another one there. Back there, a red one. A, I think that's a Cooper that shell. Mean, that's a, a no, no, that's, a, that's an actual. I think it's a Cooper shell. <laughs> Not much left inside here. Look at that dashboard, everything's been taken. The seats. As you can see, someone's taken the engine. They've got to just cut the loom out, taken the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that's a Cooper shell. That to the right person would be perfect for a track car. I can't really see much damage on it either. You know, yeah, it's upside down, but what does a Mini Cooper shell weigh? Not much. Oh wow, now this was the container, I think, with that other Mini Cooper in. This was a full container, someone's been on here and burnt the lot. I'm going to have to do some research when I get back on this. So at the end if you hear a voiceover, I found out what's going on. And it's burnt the side of this truck as well. Oh no, this was the one with the other Mini in. This bit here, Ooh, it's still here. I'm stuck. Don't mind me, I'm just falling over. Oh. Right, yeah, so here's that other mini I was telling you about. We've got the arches on it, we've got the flares on it, so maybe that's some kind of, maybe it was some kind of sport. Let's go in here. Someone's found this, and it has been the dream. Because this, when this was in here, was pretty much mint. As you can see here, they've, they've just cut through there, uh, pried that out. And it's been able to slip that engine straight out of there because that engine probably had about 10,000 miles on it and was worth a fortune. They've even gone to the extent of, this was probably mint. I believe a lot of these cars in here was some kind of write-off, but literally minimal damage and just taken off the road. Um, as you can see, someone spent time, they took the lights, they took the indicators, they took all the engine components, they probably took the heater matrix. Um, they've took the full interior, the full interior is gone. They took the gear, gear stick with the selector, they took the dashboard, the steering wheels, they took everything, even the roof lining's gone. They have took some time doing this. Now this shell here is still probably worth, we're still talking maybe a thousand pound for this shell, even with the damage, because it can be easily welded up. And uh, some, some crazy mechanic would be able to sort that out, panel beater, and that would be a pretty cool car again. That would blast him around the road. Because that probably that shell's probably done 10, 15,000 miles. Now we've got a super old car down there. I think that's the oldest car from what I remember down there. Um, I'm not actually sure what it is, but we'll, we'll go and take a look at that in a minute. Let's find Wes first. Yeah, <laughs> you know I'm playing a little bit of Pokemon Go while I'm waiting. It has to be done. What have we got here? We got a squirrel on the other. Oh, that's something popped up. An Eevee and a Venonat. Oh, we got a Pokestop there. What's that Pokestop? Ha! The aband old abandoned place. You know, it's crazy. As if that, as if the actual Horncliffe Mansion is a Pokestop. That is crazy. Tell this one's been sat here for quite some time. 
this wall's starting to cave in and fall it's an old outhouse barn it looks like yeah that. the guy who owned this property must have been very well off he must have been a very handy guy because there's just parts of engines, workbenches. That looks like an old lamp post right there. We got truck wheels, we got wood, we got planks. It's just a shame. Look at this building. So, yeah, this is the car. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what car this was, whether it was a Rover or um, a J another Jaguar. I'm pretty sure it's not an E-Type, because that would still be worth a fortune right there. It's still got its wheels on it. Uh, from what I remember, I think there was a another wheel from this car darted around somewhere. Last time I was here anyway. Looks like it's overgrown quite a bit more since then. But look, the floor's still got its differential in. Rear wheel drive. You know, I can see myself doing donuts in this car. Convertible, top down. It's a shame. I think it had started to have work done on it for some reason because uh, we had uh, some of the parts in the front missing here and the wheel ah it's so strange and your wheel spun on and locked on crazy I have no idea where Wes is look at this thing this thing has been here since time began it's actually rotted into the ground it's been here that long Oh, right, so now we found the oldest cars. We literally just have chassis here. Look at the state of these. No idea what these are, but these look like very, very small sports two seaters. No idea. If anyone knows what these are, do let us know. It'd be great to find out. Oh, I think I hear Wes. Yeah? I'm over here. Don't know, can you see him? Oh, I see him. He's not, he's not dead, there he is. There he is, he's alive. <laughs> I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. <laughs> Have you been in uh, that guest house? No, I've not been in it yet. No. I just found these old cars. I think these are the oldest cars here. I think 1920s, 1930s. They're just pretty much chassis now. Chassis, aren't I bet you someone could still work on these and refurb them because the chassis are normally completely solid because they're like iron girders. Yeah. They're not dead, they? No, they are. These are like, these were probably top of the line back then. What a shame. Hey, it'd be fun to take one and make it into a go-kart, I suppose. A big go-kart. Yeah, it would be pretty big. Look at the wheel with it. some kind of disc brake on it. Crazy. Right, so we're, we're going back in now because uh, we're going to do some of them 360 photo shots for um, Facebook. I'm not sure if you can put them on Instagram yet or not. Can you get in there, Wes? Yeah. Not sure how much I trust these steps when there's, there's one there that's broken up. That floor looks like it's about to go through. <laughs> There's some people upstairs there. Uh, they just spoke and they seem to. Can you hear me? 
Get my mouth screwed open. Don't worry, we're not the police. We've come back into the house now. We're gonna go around and take some uh, three sixty minutes for uh, um, for our uh, Watch that floor. It looks like it's about to fall through where you're walking. I don't know where it was. Uh, Some, somewhere that, way, yeah. that one. Oh, it's bad. The whole floor was flexing. Yeah. I had to move that there you were <laughs> Just open the lift up. No wonder it says, don't look up. to fall down there either or stick my head in and, and the lift just decide to drop you know like some kind of house yeah. in the haunted hill stuff right i got the uh i got the uh panorama vid uh pictures are you doing one in the stairway uh, oh yeah yeah we'll do it hey wes do you not think that chopped down tree looks like a hand with missing fingers that was kind of strange. Abandoned, um, the so we just got out, finally uh, finished. Wasn't a great deal to see in there, to be honest. Um, as you can see, most of it's all boarded up. Um, floors are coming through. Just a mess, absolute mess. Uh, the car graveyard's cool. I love cars. It's great to see all them old cars in there, but it's a shame they're just sat there rotting. Uh, there could be a lot of refurbishments done on them. We're gonna just quickly head down the road. There's, um, we noticed another abandoned building. We first pulled up and was like, wait a minute, this isn't the car graveyard. I don't remember this place. And uh, it turns out there's another abandoned building down the road, a farm. So we're just gonna make a detour there and stop by and see what it's like. If it's worth doing, we'll have a little bit of a film. If not, we'll see you next time, which will probably be, where do you wanna go next time? I think we was on about maybe going to Camelot Theme Park. I've not been there yeah. in about a year's time. Yeah, I thought we'd come back. So. Yeah, because we can reminisce, because I used to go there as a child. Um, we went there when it first shut down, went there about a year after, went there again, and we've not been since, so it'd be good to see what it looks like now. And I think I've got quite a few photos from when I was there last, so I can always show them as well. So, until next time, we'll see you later. Wes, it stinks in this car. What have you got dying in here? I don't know, I'll, I'll have not, to clean it out. I'm not joking you, come on. and find the source. <laughs> Whoever is watching this first video, please, please, tell Wes to clean his car. I mean, look at the, look at this. This is worse than an abandoned building. We had dust. I mean, look at the rubbish in the back of here. We got cans from 1965. <laughs> we've got, we've just got stuff everywhere. Where's clean your car, please? I've got a wife and two kids. What do you expect? <laughs> clean it. Come on. We've got to. We've got to get it valeted. If we're going on these road trips, we've, we've got to get it valeted. And I'll valet mine when we go in mine, but we can't record in mine because mine's too loud. Clean his car. Tell him. Clean his car.